Gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, we're going to play a little bit of Old Edition, and this song was in my head tonight, so we're going to play it because we're going to stick with the theme. This is New Edition and Still in Love, and we'll get back to some other songs later, but right now we got to talk about something. There is a pink elephant in the room. Yes, uh, no, we're going to repair now. Ain't going to repair on the next restart. Repair that. All right, we've got a couple of things to talk about. We have the document that we created for our members. I must remind you that you're under oath. I went ahead and amended it today because we've added a couple of other things. Now, the document you see, the PDF that we're using now is Wondershare. The reason why we're using Wondershare is because Wondershare does something that uh, most other PDFs don't do. You see this right here? This is normally a document, watch this. This is normally a document I would not be able to edit because this document is, usually will pop up in other PDFs as an image. Well, PDF Wondershare, Wondershare PDF, uh, Elements, Wondershare PDF Elements, let me say it again, Wondershare PDF Elements with OCR allows me to go ahead and completely edit documents. I've been trying to get this particular software for months. Okay, now, you heard what I say it. Um, hold on, y'all. Let me get rid of something. This should not be here because it's in my way and it's letting me see down here. Okay, so it's creating a problem. You know, don't start none, no, won't be none. Nah, 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 nah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, see this right here? Motor vehicle means every description of carriage. Every description of carriage. Or other conveyance propelled or drawn by mechanical power and used for commercial purposes on the highways and the transportation of passengers or passengers and property. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what a motor vehicle means. Now, hold on. They're going to tell you, well, on the state, our state definition don't say the same thing as the federal definition. No, 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 no. Because that's confusing because it's the same automobile on both levels state and federal because there is no federal highway federal highways only deal with interstate commerce sorry some of y'all may not understand what i just said federal highways only deal with interstate commerce so that's why the federal highway is called interstate and the state highways are called just local throughways or freeways so interstate is for interstate commerce, and so the same definition applies both interstate and intrastate. I hope some of you understand. So, ladies and gentlemen, federal definition for a motor vehicle, but that's not the only one. No, there, there was a gentleman, I can't give him credit because I don't <laughs> know who he was. Uh, somebody sent me his video. And he highlighted this, but I wanted to highlight that this is what I've been telling you guys from the very beginning. I knew it's in the code, okay? But we need to go to 40 because that, that's not enough, okay? That is not enough. Now, what I highlighted is whoever with the intent, with like intent, willfully, okay, you have to have the intentions of using the vehicle for commercial use. Used for commercial purposes means a carriage, a person, or property for any fare, fee, rate, charge, or other consideration, or directly or indirectly in connection with any business or other undertaking intended for profit. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, can you take me to the store? I'll pay you for gas. That's not interstate commerce. Congress cannot regulate it unless it involves a commercial purpose. Some of you guys are going to understand this. Many of you are not going to understand it because crack, that stuff is free. And some of you guys are just getting overdosed after overdose after overdose.
stop arguing with them. Again, uh, if you're one of the members of any of the current new programs, especially the Fourth Amendment program or the uh, Secure program, well, Secure and Fourth, Fourth Amendment are the same thing, but when we say the, P, the TPP, the Partnership Program, the TPP, if you're part of those programs, you will receive this shortly. And this document has been edited and updated to include certain information. Now, let's show you the other information. Those of you who, you know, y'all into creating your own thing, like Heavy D, we got our own thing. Okay, so those of y'all who are into creating your own thing, let me get rid of that so I can scroll on up because I need to scroll on up. Um, y'all into creating your own thing. And we put the statute at large here. And the reason why we put the statute at large because it's that important. Important. Okay, let's do this so y'all can see. Those of y'all who are trying to put your own thing together, we can go right here. There's a paragraph in red right there. That's the paragraph we're looking for. Now, I want y'all to see you see that right there. We ain't too concerned about the term operate, means to drive or be in actual physical control of a motor vehicle for the purposes of transporting passengers or property for hire or compensation. Now, in the cases of Gonzalez versus Castle Rock and Lazito versus New York City, and I hope Miss Gonzalez and Mr. Lazito is knowing somebody who watches my videos, this is how you go back into the court and you sue the state and you sue the court for denying you due process because they say that you had to prove that the police owe you a duty. Well, let me prove that they owe you a duty. The Supreme Court held that the police officers do not owe a specific duty to protect individuals from harm, even if they are aware that harm is likely to occur. This is known as rebuttable presumption against police liability. This is a bunch of bull... I'm sorry. Formally, uh, formal rebuttal. We're doing a formal rebuttal. Police officers receive public funding. Defund the police! Defund the police! Defund the police. I'm sorry. Police officers receive public funding from taxpayers. This creates a special relationship. We're in a special relationship, Your Honor. Yeah. No, no, it's not one of those arranged relationships. This is just special. Just special. The special relationship requires performance under the most basic principles of contract law, Value and consideration. That's the performance. You pay them, they perform. Come on, dance when I say dance. Dance. Dance, dance, dance. dance. Keep on. Oh, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, funding for police departments does create a special relationship between the public and the police. This is because the police are funded by taxpayer dollars. And the public has a legitimate expectation that the police will use those resources to protect them and uphold the law. In this contextual instance, the intent defines the relationship. The actions and or duties and or interactions and or performances identifies the acquiescence to the agreement amounting to implied consent. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to get, it's supposed to be inaction, so I apologize, not enter, but the inactions. The performances by the police means that they have agreed to the contract. See, you gave the money with intent. The intentions of giving the money was for them to do their duty. They haven't been doing their duty. We're going we're gonna to move this over because it's too far over. I don't want it all the way over here. That, that's too far over. And let's see, where is it? We're going to put it in the middle. See, it shifted it on its own. I didn't tell it to do that. It just said, that's the way I'm going to do it. And let's do justify. Let's see if justification. No, justification didn't work, y'all. So we're going to center it, put it in the middle. And it still didn't do it in the middle. I need to see the other one. I haven't used this one, y'all. I've not used this just yet, but it's taken care of. See, what I need to do is I need to move it all the way over, and it won't let me do it all the way over. Okay, I was looking, and, and, and let's see, it says mo. 
Mo, Larry, and Curly. Well, I can't do it. No, don't email me. Don't text me talking about this, how you got to do it, homie. We ain't playing that game. We not going to play that game. Hold on. Let's get back over here. So let's see if we can. Matter of fact, I know one way I could try to do it. Let's see. Nope, can't do that. Yeah, I can't do that. That See what that did? So we got to undo that. Yeah, we're going we gonna to just undo what we did so we back to square one. Because we're going to, one, it's like a dream come true. Okay, we're going to start back at one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is what we're providing, this document. People are going to copy it and paste it. I didn't want it to do that. Um, I'm having some issues tonight. Man, you're having issues every night. No, I'm having some actual issues. You see, what I have right now is my cell phone, I have too much information on a cell phone. So what I have to do with my cell phone, ladies and gentlemen, is I have to now, sorry, I have a light that's on outside and I have to go check it. I have motion detectors. No, no, there's nobody out there. I just, it might be turned in the wrong direction. That means somebody been messing with it. So let me go mess with my light. One second. Ladies and gentlemen, I've gone outside and I've rearranged. It just turns out that that light was just a little bit brighter than night than nights before. So it wasn't really, it's a curved light. So only part of it was facing this way like it normally supposed to do. So that's been taken care of. Now, what we got to talk about, because we got to talk about it, because it's got to be talked about, is Al Green is playing in the background and he is, you know, thinking about younger days. Okay. And because he's thinking about that for the rest of his life, okay, we're going to let him do that because those are the type of things he likes to do, okay? Now, let's get back to the reason for doing this video. So many of you are trying to navigate, and it is different for you than it is for me because I've been doing this for quite some time like I told you from the time I was 15 and a half I knew that in order to have a driver's license you had to be transporting someone for hire that if you weren't transporting someone for hire you did not need a driver's license I've known this since then and to, just to let you know I didn't understand what for hire meant so I had to go look up for hire because I was going over the manual so when I went to look up for hire and what it meant I understood it meant passengers for hire or for compensation. So when I became a school bus driver and I became a tractor trailer diesel driver or heavy equipment driver, and I had to get that license for that, at one point it was the Class A license, then it went to the CDL, I understood these things. So when I took those tests, I was already prepared for it because I'd already studied this. But many of you have never had to study any of this because you never had a concern or a reason or a rhyme to do so. And when you did become a truck driver or a bus driver or any of those things, you never had to focus on those words because they never just stood out. You just took the test because you knew the answers. Me, I couldn't just take the test because I knew the answer. I had to understand everything, not just some of the things, but I mean, that's PDF, my PDF element starting up again. And so y'all just going to have to bear with me. Um... But I had to know. I couldn't just take it. So, ladies and gentlemen, police officers are pulling people over, and the people are having the wrong conversations with the police officers. You guys are answering their questions. But then when you question them, you're asking the wrong question. And that's why the conversation, yeah, we're going to reopen it. The conversation is ending the way it's ending. That's why things are ending the way they're ending. They're, they're calling more officers. Why are they calling more officers? Well, the document that we've created, we immediately state in the document that if you fail to answer these questions, then you need to call your supervisor. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you ask for a supervisor, they don't have a choice. You've just taken it above their head. The moment you say, I need to speak to a supervisor. This is not another officer who is the ICO, officer in charge. You don't want an officer in charge. You want a supervisor. Supervisors are on duty, and they're on duty for a reason, to go to the scene. That's why nobody likes sergeants. 
these officers don't listen to a sergeant. Sergeant doesn't have any power. It's the lieutenant who has power. You don't want to call a lieutenant. You want the sergeant because that's the sergeant's job is to come up there and make sure due diligence is being taken care of, that they're doing the job and that they're following the law. Well, to pull you over in the first place, he must suspect you being in commerce, traveling for hire, having a person for hire. It cannot be a presumption. That's why this document rebuts the stupid presumptions in the first instant. Okay? La, la, la. That's what you're going to tell him. He's going to be like talking to you. He's going to be la, 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 la. You're going to be like Al Green, la, 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 whatever. Talk to the hand. No, I'm sorry. Don't do that because you'll just inflame the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, even if, let's say, they write a ticket. I've been talking to one gentleman who they wrote 18 separate tickets and are trying to give him 90 days. He's going to get a copy of this document before anybody else. Why? Because he needs this. Because this is the thing that he shows the judge and say, I need you to explain this. How dare you accuse me of committing a crime when there is no crime evidence on the record? There is no evidence that I was engaged in commerce. There is no evidence that there was anybody in my vehicle and I was traveling for hire. I was on my way to work. And I have the right to travel to and from, to ingress and regress to and from work under Every circumstance, it's my right. I do it when I feel like it. I don't have to ask you permission to go to work. This is not Nazi Germany. How dare you, mother... Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, the document is created for you. Hopefully you'll benefit from it. Thank you, Al Green. Tell them what you want to do. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to mend this situation. Y'all have a good day, all right? I'm out. <laughs>